Hello, it's Linda with No Frills ASMR. I'm back. <laughs> I was only gone one day, broke the streak. <laughs> but actually, I've been gone for a week. Oh, sorry guys, I just bumped the mic. Um, and I, uh, I pre-recorded some things. And so you didn't really notice, hopefully, until yesterday. But um, sadly, I missed the eclipse. <laughs> you guys know I was so excited for it. But um, my father-in-law passed away. And so we traveled to Michigan for his funeral. And then drove to Tennessee for his burial. Um which was really cool because he served during the Korean War and they played taps and they folded the flag. It was very moving. Um, and of course, it's nice to get together with family. So we spent quite a bit of time with family, which was great. And then my husband and I went to Nashville. And so I did post a few videos of guitars because we don't go to Nashville to like you know, do the Nashville stuff, like go to the, they have a music, no, it's called Broadway, I think, and it's all the bars and nightclubs that are, um, big music stars have them there. We didn't do any of that. <laughs> we just got an Airbnb and went to some local restaurants and drank a few beers and went to guitar stores. <laughs> And we went to a lot of guitars. And then we also went to a museum called the Gig Museum, which is the gallery. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. Gallery of interesting guitars. No. <laughs> anyway, I'll look it up. But it was on the, um, uh, what is the University of Belmont University's campus? And it was a collection of guitars, so that was neat. But anyway, I picked this up at the rest area on the way home. And I just thought we could flip through it and chat a little bit. Um, so this is Tennessee, the official 2024 vacation guide. Travel like a local. Tennessee vacation. The Bluebird Cafe, you know, I wanted to go there. They didn't have anything going on the night we went. But one of these days, I'm going to get there and then go to the Bluebird Cafe. It's supposed to be kind of cool. Chattanooga. Oh, yeah, the Ryman Auditorium. You know, I looked this up because I kind of wanted to go on the tour. The Ryman is where the Grand Ole Opry originally was in the 30s before they built a new building. And... Apparently, the only way you can go is with tickets to the Country Music Hall of Fame. But I did the Country Music Hall of Fame last year, and I don't, I didn't know this was part of it. Like, nobody told me, <laughs> or I'd have gone. But I wasn't about to pay the ticket price again, because it's, it's like $60 or something to go to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Dollywood, that's Dolly Parton's amusement park. And I have gone there since I was a kid. I've been there so many times. It's awesome. It's awesome. It is so fun. They have her like childhood home there. <laughs> like it's a little one room log cabin. And then it's got the whole kind of Smoky Mountain theme. It's in the Smoky Mountains. But anyway, let's look through this. Oh yeah. There's a mandolin. I'm going to have to work on my setup. I'm still in Tennessee. And I have set up, but it's like kind of shaking, I think. So I'm going to have to work on it. But for tonight, it's going to do. <laughs> There's a cute doggy. But look, here's an old mandolin. Do they tell us? This Gibson 5, sorry, F5 Master Model Mandolin was destined to become one of the most celebrated instruments in blue grass history when Bill Monroe bought it in the early 1940s 
and played it into high lonesome history. Yeah, we saw a lot of mandolins. They're pretty cool because they have all this intricate woodwork. Like they have all these little, and some of them have um, like inlays, all these inlays on here. And they don't show the headstock, but some of them are really cool. There's bushes, baked beans. <sighs> Explore two of Tennessee's most beautiful destinations. I didn't even know. So this is Bush's the Big Bean Company. They have a... Huh, I didn't know that. You're invited to the home of all things beans. Stop by the Bush's Visitor Center and Cafe for a home-cooked meal. And inside, look at how our beans are made and tons of fun exhibits. J. Duke and the Secret Family Recipe. Duke is the dog. I remember it from the commercials. Well, that could be fun. Welcome to Tennessee. Billy is the governor and Mark Zell is the commissioner of tourist development. YouTube. <laughs> They're tubing. We, um, one time, my parents had gone up to the Smokies and tubed the, I think theirs was called the, the, river shoot I forget but anyway and they said oh it's so nice and calm so then when all my kids were kind of little my sister and I and we went with all the kids and we tubed one called the river rage <laughs> well I don't know if the river was just high or what but it I'm not even joking with you it was a nightmare <laughs> my brother-in-law flipped and hit a rock and he was bleeding really profusely <laughs> from the head and two of my kids got taken away way in front of me where I couldn't see them and they were little-ish you know kind of and I was so panicked <laughs> and then my other kid who was kind of scared got caught behind so I was trying to make my tube stop because it was going so fast to try to let him catch up with me and so I like did what you're not supposed to which is put your feet straight down because I was just trying to stop. <laughs> the water is going over my head and my sister is screaming. <laughs> we were all in a panic. But when we finally got to the end, the kids who had gone out in front, who I was so worried about, they were like, that was so fun. <laughs> we had so much fun. So my sister and I tell this story of chaos and horror. And they are like, what are you guys talking about? So it's unclear who's right. Oh, I've been here. <laughs> I don't know what mountain this is, but it looks like one I've been to. And then that's the um, aquarium. Maybe the, Oh, here it is. The Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. I've been here a bunch of times when my kids were little, but that was probably 15 years ago. But it was great. We loved it. We loved it so much I went back like three times. It was really cool. Music's most iconic stage, Tour the Ryman. Yeah, well you can't. You can't just tour the Ryman. <laughs> Only the Opry. See the show, take the tour. The Grand Ole Opry. We went there when I was a kid. I think, I feel like you walked out onto the stage and could do this. Because I think I remember doing that. And thinking I was Loretta Lynn. All right, so let's see here. So here's the map of Tennessee. So we came from Michigan straight down towards Nashville. And now I'm over here near Knoxville. But I kind of wanted to go through Chattanooga. But it would have been out of the way. But one day I'm going to have to go over to Chattanooga. Look at that dog. Travel like a local. There's Dolly. Dolly Parton. Granger County Tomato Festival. Oh, I bet that's so good. 
my dad grows tomatoes in his garden in Tennessee. They're delicious. I mean, they're so good you could just bite into them like an apple. They're so good. <laughs> Chris Thomas, Downtown Antique. Yeah, so it's been quite a week. Wait, what's this? Hold on. This looks like this, almost like a sparkle shirt. <laughs> Before she was selling out stadium. Oh, that's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift was a Tennessee local. Many signature staples from her career, including her famous glitter guitar, are housed at Nashville's Country Music Hall of Fame. So, I kind of like this, but not really. There was a glitter duo jet at a uh, Carter guitar. I was in love. I loved it. <laughs> it's a Gretsch and Gretsch made drums and so the drum kits would have the glitter and so somebody just decided hey let's take the glitter from the drum kit and put it on the guitar and I'm telling you this was a 1950 I want to say 54 guitar and it looked brand new. I may have put a picture it a, a picture of it in the community. I can't remember if I did. Yeah, I did. I did. That wasn't me playing guitar, you guys. <laughs> I appreciate you thinking I'm multi talented. That was not me. It was my husband. <laughs> Behind the hits. National Museum of African American Music. The Tina Turner Museum. The birthplace of Country Music Museum. Country Music Hall of Fame, been there. Museum, no, Memphis Rock and Soul Museum. Stax Museum of American Soul, that'd probably be cool. There's also the Musicians Hall of Fame in Nashville. I went there last time, that's awesome. I, I liked that. Tennessee Theater in Knoxville. I think I went there. I think I saw a Broadway play of some sort there. Hmm. Oh, or maybe I went and just walked through it when I went to an opera festival. I can't remember. I can't remember. Records. The State of Dining. Oof. What do we have here? B.E. Scott Barbecue. So in the U.S., I know a lot of you are from Europe. <laughs> in the South, you make barbecue pork until it, you can pull it apart. But I don't really like pork as much. I like to do chicken, but that's not true Southern. But anyway, <laughs> so you make your meat, and you can do beef too, but you pull it apart till it's like little tiny pieces. And then you put the barbecue sauce all on there. And you gotta, you know, everybody has a different idea of what the right <laughs> barbecue sauce is. I like it a little smoky, a little spicy, and a little sweet. I want all of those flavors. <laughs> Not too much vinegar. South Carolina, they like vinegar. Or maybe it's North Carolina, South Carolina. Anyway, and then you put coleslaw on top. And then you put in sandwich bun and eat it. And people serve it with baked beans. I personally don't really like baked beans. They're too sweet. They're very sweet very popular um like there's a pulled probably a pulled beef sandwich and they have cool on the side that should be on top <laughs> those are ribs what is this a hot chicken hattie b's you know there was a hattie b's right by our um airbnb but one my husband doesn't really like fried chicken he's kind of healthy eater he doesn't really eat that but um they had a line out the door every time, like a big long line, so I never did try it, but that looks pretty hot. <laughs> but I do like spicy food. Yeah, I know, I've had other hot chicken though. Um, what's this? This must be catfish and uh, onion rings. And I don't know what the heck that is, a piece of ham. Sweet Jordan's Paris. 
some kind of, oh, here's biscuits, homemade buttermilk biscuits, Prince's hot chicken shack. I would say this is making me hungry, but really I just went out to dinner, so I went out to a friend of my parents' house. They had us over, and we had a big salad and broccoli and potatoes, and there was pork. I didn't really eat much of that. And then for dessert, my mom made apple pie and ice cream. <laughs> so that was pretty good. What is this? Pancake Pantry in Gatlinburg. You know, I actually stayed one time. I think it's the hotel that's connected to Pancake Pantry. Or it's right by it, I don't remember. But, um, and I went here. I don't really get the fascination with pancakes. <laughs> I've never had a pancake. I don't know. Sometimes if I get like the really thin ones, I look like grapes. Those are kind of good. Here is Dollywood. So this, I'm sure you all know, is Dolly Parton. And it used to be at Dollywood. She said she wouldn't have any rides that she wasn't willing to ride. So like the biggest ride was a water flume kind of thing. And as a kid, I just loved it. But, um, she has since said now there's plenty of rides she won't go on. <laughs> and they've got big roller coasters. Um, let's see if they have the ride. And you can stay at the resorts. I've never stayed at the resorts. And there's Splash Country, which is the water park. That's fun, too. Um, oh, yeah. And they do a Smoky Mountain Christmas. And it used to be a lot of the performers were like, relatives of hers and a lot of the women would even kind of look and sound like her <laughs> it was fun but i'm sure now it's just everybody um i wanted to show you this one ride i went on i don't see it but it was one of those i think i'm gonna have to draw it for you because i don't know what you call it it's like one of those that's like a um I mean, I, I, what's it called? The, like a tower. <laughs> and so you have seats. So all the people are sitting around it like this, you know? And then it goes up to the top. And then it kind of takes a turn, a spin around up here, and then it drops. And so my kids were like, come on, Mom, go on it. And at first I was going to chicken out. But then there was no line, and you know how then you don't have time to overthink it. So I was like, okay, I'm going. And so we get on here, and it goes up. I mean, this it's like way taller. It's like this tall. <laughs> but the cool thing is when you're at the very top, you're looking over all the Smoky Mountains, just like this. It was so cool. And then it doesn't go fast in a circle at the top. It goes slow. So you get to see all the mountains. And it was like right at sunset, like just like this. It was so pretty. And then I was scared of it dropping, but... <laughs> drops kind of quick, but it catches right about here and kind of goes zhoosh, zhoosh, zhoosh. So it was like really soft because my fear isn't about heights or about dropping. It's about having my brain jiggled around because sometimes I get, I think the last time I went on a big coaster was one like this and I got off and I was literally unwell. <laughs> I felt kind of sick for the rest of the day. My brain hurt and I thought, I'm not going to do I don't know, there's some, I think you hit a certain, I was probably 45, and I did one, I didn't like it, and I was having to like try to hold my head steady the whole time, because it was shaking, you know. All in the family, pack your bags for an epic vacation with those you love. It's the best, it's the best. Taking your kids on vacations, like even just camping like this at a local park, I just think it's the best. Like, everybody put your phones away. <laughs> Get marshmallows. Graham crackers and chocolate. That looks so nice. I want to be there right now. But then I'd get in my little cozy sleeping bag, and I'd think I was going to fall asleep. But really, I'd sit there listening for bears all night long. <laughs> the one time we were camping. Oh, where were we? I think we were in Pennsylvania. 
and we have the most beautiful campsite. Someday I'll find pictures and show you. It was literally <laughs> the most beautiful. Um, and I, we were kind of off season. And so there was nobody else at the campsite, which is awesome during the daytime. But at night, it makes you feel just slightly nervous. <laughs> That's me, not like everybody else in the tent sound asleep. I'm going, what if? <laughs> so I'm listening for sounds and all of a sudden I start hearing all this noise and it sounded like Bigfoot was in my campsite. You know, it seemed so loud. And so I get the flashlight and I unzip the tent and I'm shining the flashlight, you know, around. And it was a raccoon <laughs> and he had gone into my picnic basket. I brought all the food to the car, but you had to walk up like a kind of a bigger than a hill, smaller than a mountain to get up to the car from the campsite we were at. And so there were a couple of things that I was like, ah, <laughs> I just put it with the big one. Down. And I paid the price. <laughs> Look out mountain. Um, I've been to Rock City. I can't, it was a long time ago. Ruby Falls. Yeah. As a kid, that used to be wherever you drove in the U.S., I guess in the South, probably, it would say, they'd have signs that would say, you're only 120 miles from Ruby Falls. And so my sister would beg my dad, let's go to Ruby Falls. I want to go. So we finally went. And like Mammoth Cave, when you go there, it's more like natural cave environment. But Ruby Falls, they used all these colored lights <laughs> to make it look like kind of cool. And, um, and it did look cool, but I remember feeling it was a little cheesy, but when you come, came out and this is back when you had the metal bumpers, they wired on a thing that said, I've been to Ruby Falls. <laughs> I wonder if they still do that. Ooh, look, horseback riding. That would be so fun. It's only natural. Look at this lake. Watuga Lake in Hampton. This one little boat tooling around. That'd be some good fishing. <laughs> Ooh, look how pretty they're walking in the leaves. Whitewater rafting. Hmm. I guess I didn't know there was whitewater rafting in Tennessee. It says Ocoee o River in Ducktown. caves in the county at Cumberland Caverns. Huh. I don't think I've been there. I've been to a couple caves. And, uh, there's this one cave. Oh, I think it's near Sweetwater, Tennessee, maybe. And <laughs> I think it's called Lost Cave. It's like on a private, I think it's on somebody's farm or something. But oh, like a red pan. Real quick, I'll tell you the rest of that story, but we were at the State Museum of Tennessee and they had a prehistoric red panda skeleton that was found in Tennessee. So apparently, red pandas at one time lived here. <laughs> Interesting. Um, anyway, so we go to this lost sea cave. My mom and I took my sons. And you walk down and then you get on a boat and they take you on a little boat ride. And I mean, it's a little boat ride. <laughs> but they throw these pellets that there are fish that are in the water. I'm sure they've stocked it because fish wouldn't go there. But And then they feed them these little pellets and all the fish go blah, 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 and eat it all. And um, the guy says, one time somebody caught one of the fish or took it home and cooked it and said it tasted like beef because all the pellets they feed them are beef. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. Yeah, 
several baseball leagues. I went to some, let's see which ones, Knoxville, Knoxville, Tennessee Smokies. Yeah, I've been to a Smokies game. That's always fun going to a baseball game. For me, it's more about just being there. I never pay that much attention to the game. <laughs> Ooh, look. I want to do a video on mushrooms. Where does it say something about mushrooms? Huh. Are they Macon's? Is it Mountain Macon's Festival? I don't know. I don't know which one of those is. Look at all the umbrellas. Knoxville. And Middle East. There's a beaver. Knoxville Museum of Art. Huh. I've never been there. <laughs> I might have to look into that Museum of Art. Covered Bridge Days. Great Smoky Mountains National Park is ready to explore year-round with snowy mountains in the winter and wondrous waters like Grotto Falls in the warmer months. Yeah. Last time I went over to the Smokies was during COVID, and so everybody was trying to do outdoor activities. And <laughs> I've never seen that park so crowded. We had to park like forever away to walk to this waterfall and the trail was jam-packed and there was by the way a bear on the trail that every this guy <laughs> this is no joke I can't remember if it was a guy or woman but this person took their like baby like one-year-old baby and was holding it up the bear's up in a tree like here and the person's here and they're holding their baby up so that they can see the bear like six inches away we're like what are you doing <laughs> but then once we walked to the waterfall which was only like a quarter mile and that's where all the people were we kept hiking beyond it and as soon as you went beyond the waterfall there was nobody <laughs> we were like the only people hiking I thought oh they all drove here and fought and there was another waterfall further we just had to hike to it Ooh, what's this your vacation is now playing in Tennessee. Huh, I thought it was an ad for a guitar shop, but nope. Whitewater rafting. Oh yeah, I guess. I guess I can visualize whitewater. I saw some guys in the Smoky Mountain um, National Park kayaking on whitewater one time. It was crazy. <laughs> I could have watched them all day. I was like, Breweries. Whoa. Knoxville Bayou Theater, Cruise Farm, Ebony and Ivory Brewing. Ooh, the Knoxville Zoo. I used to have a zoo membership at my local zoo, but then when I could come down here, it was reciprocal. And so I could go to the Knoxville Zoo. I think I went to Cincinnati Zoo. Um, and I can't remember if Detroit Zoo, but it's pretty cool. So if you have kids, look into like reciprocal zoos and then you can take little road trips to just visit, you know, different zoos. It's fun. Crockett Tavern Museum. The replica, <laughs> what's that word? The replica of boyhood home of American frontiersman and Tennessee native son, Davy Crockett, contains artifacts from his childhood and tells the story of this legendary figure. That might be an interesting person to look into for a video, I think. Morristown Arts and Bluegrass Festival. That would probably be fun to see a bluegrass festival. American Mu oh, I've been here. American Museum of Science and Energy. This is in Oak Ridge, 
Tennessee, which is where they were making nuclear weapons during World War II. That's an interesting subject, too, for a video. Oh, look. Boy, was I. Look, Sweetwater, The Lost Sea Adventure. That's the cave I was talking about. America's largest underground lake. Okay, I didn't know that. And registered national landmark. It's also rich in Civil War history. I don't remember any of that, to be honest. Guided tours begin every 15 minutes. Hmm. I don't recall. Summit a mountain and sip on something special. Okay. Guy playing his fiddle. between a violin and a fiddle. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Does it, does it, do they both have, I don't know. Are they the same? I'm wondering if they both have frets. Maybe a fiddle doesn't. I, I think they might be the same. They just have different names. Gatlinburg, if you ever come to Tennessee, you can go to Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg, and then you're near the Smoky Mountains, but it's like tourist, you know, the kind of thing where like they have tea, t-shirt shops and fudge shops and Bubba Gump shrimp, and <laughs> but it's fun. Goo goo. They make these things called goo goo clusters in Tennessee. They're a little too sweet, but they're pretty good. Uh, what does it say? Nashville has been satisfying sweet tooths for well over a century. In 1912, Nashville's Standard Candy Company blah, blah, created the country's first combination candy bar with the debut of the Goo Goo Cluster. Huh. Yeah, it's good. Like a local... What's his favorite Tennessee park? Virgin Falls, Caney Fork River. Huh. Let me have to go back. Go back and look at what he says. See where I can go hiking. So I'm going to be here in Tennessee for a while. My um, uncle is having surgery. And, you know, my dad sometimes needs help getting around because he can't drive. So, I will be here, I'm not sure how long, but that's why I brought the whole setup here, so I can still make videos, and my other businesses I just kind of put on hold for now, but, um, that'll be okay. What does this say? Oh, the Appalachian Center for Craft. I wonder what this pot, it has like holes in the top. Andersonville, Lebanon, Murfreesboro, Goodlets, Goodletsville, Andrew Jackson's Hermitage, 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 Hermitage. I went there a long time ago. Tennessee's kind of an interesting state as far as like things like the Civil War stuff goes because while they were Confederate, they still were kind of split. I, 
think that the government at the time that was in the Tennessee government went Confederate, but I think the actual people of the state leaned Union. And so it really split the state in half. It split families in half. And a lot of people fought for the Union. And the Union ended up, like, occupying the state, I think. And then after the war, and I could have a lot of this wrong. I haven't studied it. <laughs> this is just for me reading science. But after the war, a lot of the Union who were in the state just basically were like get the heck out to the confederate because you know they'd been at war with each other and so it really became you know they kind of kicked a lot of people out anyway it's all kind of interesting yeah there's a video there too but that could be a touchy subject so I don't know <laughs> and there were these guys called the bushwhackers who were like confederate soldiers who didn't know they didn't have orders coming in because it was sort of occupied by Union or something like that. I could have that wrong. But so they're called bushwhackers because they'd hide in the bushes. And then when soldiers or men were going to meet up with their regimen, I guess you'd call it, they'd kill them on the way. And that happened to my boy's great, 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 great grandfather. I think he was killed trying to go meet up with his regiment by the bushwhackers. And they poked out his eyes and cut off his arms. <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm kind of curious to read about some of that stuff. And there was a guy at the State Museum who I was reading was a Union general, maybe. And after the war, he said his wife had died of you know, whatever was going around back then. I don't remember. It's, I can't remember. Anyway, but so she had died. And then two of his sons had died fighting. And then he said, and the other two of my sons went Confederate and we'll never speak again or something. And I thought that's so sad. I mean, it just ripped families apart. <laughs> so sad. Is this Elvis's house? Graceland, it must be. Yeah, Graceland. I've been there. It's interesting because it's cool. Like, I love Elvis Presley, so I find it cool. But it's really just like a regular, you know, 1950s, I think it's from the 50s, um, house. It's not like a giant mansion. He just lived in a, I mean, it would have been a mansion back then compared to what he grew up in. But when you see it now compared to like the McMansions you see in the U.S. It's just sort of a normal house. But he has the jungle room and <laughs> there are all these things. And if you know about Elvis and the Memphis Mafia and all that, it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of fun to look at. I really did. I enjoyed going through it, but I understand people who are like not interested. If you don't like Elvis and you're not interested in that, then you're not going to Graceland, Ellis Presley, Memphis. The guest house at Graceland. <laughs> Tina Turner. Live like a local. Making music last. Stacks. I'm going to look in the Stacks Museum. That could be really interesting. Here's a picture of this guy Stacks Museum, American Soul Museum in Memphis. There's a Motown Museum in Detroit that I've been to that, um, you know, some of these old studios, if it's one of the old studios, they're pretty cool because you're like right there where people made the music. That's one other thing with Graceland. Like there's, it seems to me in the basement there was a studio. Mm, maybe I have that wrong. But um, that's kind of why I want to, there was Hold on, I screwed something up. It wasn't the Ryland Theater that you couldn't, you had to go with country music. It was the RCA studio. Yeah, I have that. The Ryland Theater was just too expensive. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it. But the RCA studio, you have to go with the Country Music Hall of Fame. And I definitely would have done that. Because I feel like 
kind of like going to the studios that people recorded in. I think it's cool. Let's just kind of pretend. Look, Jackson Rockabillies. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's a billy goat and he's got a guitar and he's a rockabilly. Is yum. Oh, that looks so nice. Sit in that hammock. Eat that strawberry. This says Brooke Shaw's Old Country Store. Who's Brooke Shaw? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Sun Studios. That's in Memphis. All right, now I gotta make a trip to Memphis. So I could go to Stax Records and Sun Studios. I wonder if it's the original. Bald Eagle. I did a video on bald eagles if you're curious. If you're curious why their eggs became soft and they'd sit on them and they'd squish them. Your vacation is now playing in Tennessee. This is exactly what I look like in a bikini right now. <laughs> After eating food on my trip. Not really. Rock around. There's Graceland. There's this too. Barbecue. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Pretty fun. They also gave me this map of Gatlinburg, but maybe I'll look at that another time. Because this could be fun to just look at. And I've done quite a few of these things. Alright, we'll go through this maybe tomorrow night.